This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Century Link Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive, pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. On second and nine, Wilson. He's going to air one out. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one, 28 yards on the ground. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Hey, back up. Mike 54. Here we go, here we go. Mike 54, Mike 54. Second down and goal. Golf toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Give credit to K.J. Wright. He was disrupting defensively. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. 54 is much. Now Goff on third and goal. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Unable to stop KJ right there as he slips by for the sack. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. I mean, you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. What? 
Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Here's Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. And now he spiked it on third down. I don't know if he heard a whistle. There was no whistle. He just got up and spiked it. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. JoJo Natson back deep for the Rams. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now Natson. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're looking sharp, out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. Oh, he's got some break. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. 20, 10, touchdown LA. Todd Gurley, 63 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, at, look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now it's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle's one of my favorite players in the league, Brandon. A guy that always seems to be in the right place at the right time, making a play on the football. And he has excellent hands, as we just saw there. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Looking to throw on second down. Golf. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down LA. 15. Check my 15. Come. Motion, motion, motion. Shoot, shoot, shoot. On first.
first down, it's Gurley. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Delta. On second and 12, Goff. This will be caught by Brown. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Oh, 17-0, our score after one. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And the Rams first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun snap for gone. And that one's complete to Gurley. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and goal, Gurley. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Another try on second down with Gurley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Zerline good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pre uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Throwing on second down. Wilson dumps this one off to Chris Carson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Throwing is Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Gurley with a carry on first down. He'll only get a couple. Second and eight forthcoming. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. From the 22, Goff throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, gone. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down LA. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? You no, know, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Mind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves him at third and one. Gurley. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Let's go. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Hey, motion backfield, motion backfield. Hardball, hardball. Hey, Alpha. They'll try the air now with Gaul. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Now Goff on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And a route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And you're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Here's gone. He gets it to Gurley. Complete. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Shell, shell, shell. Gone. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown, Rams. Tyler Higby in the final seconds of the first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that... Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how would the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will it be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for the Rams touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. This is taken about seven yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Check four, check four. Gurley again here on first down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back to the workhorse today, it's Gurley. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Goff going to hand it to Gurley, and he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Each team has its own terminology. Some people call it jumbo. Some call it monster. Some call it king. But it doesn't really matter. They brought in the big lumber to pick up that first down. Yeah, you think about goal line defense with the goal line offense that time getting it done. Slam, slam, slam. Rush in, rush in, rush in. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. My God, 180. Boo, boo. Hey, zoom. Check right, 54. Now on second and 13. Goff, he gets it to Cooks. Touchdown, L.A. Brandon Cooks, 58 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all for the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, to something to get you off to a quick start. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively six dbs in the game here's wilson he's got lockett a good pick up there 21 yards and a key number on that play three third play of the drive third down Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On third down, Wilson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Obama! Obama! 
On first and ten, gone. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now it's gone. The 20. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession. Both north of, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon as his guys continue to pour it on. That drive was quick and impressive. Almost like they had somewhere else they needed to be after the game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles? That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, what? and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards the pick up there. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Goff now, 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. From the gun, here's Goff. This is caught, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Yeah. 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. This is Carson. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On second down, it's Carson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pickup, first down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They'll run on first down. Carson, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And the Seahawks on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Wilson now off the bootleg. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And look at this. It's a fake. But he will not make the first down marker. That'll be a turnover on downs. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Goff now to throw. That'll be caught by Cup, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Goff now, 15 out of 17 through the air, only two incompletions. It's first down. Back to throw, Goff. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's my, and that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the game's over. We know this thing's done. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And an alley to run. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. It's just me and you. They run it with Carson. And an alley to run. 
in and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, it's Carson. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Throwing on second and eight, Wilson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front. Now they're going to try this again. It's another fake. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. 20. Watch by four. Don't get nervous. Throwing now. Off. Over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Gone. Boy, another big play. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Now Goff will lead the Rams up to go for two. You can't block me. You can't block me. Value three. Value three. 36. 36. Say, say, say. 25. Check 25. Check 25. Check. They'll try and run it with Gurley. And he will not make it to the goal line as this try for two is going to come up empty. But that's little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They are down big. They have not scored a single point. I don't know. Are they so defeated at this point you just want to get in the locker room and get the heck out of here? That is one way to approach it. Sometimes coach say, that's it, okay? It hasn't worked all game. There's no sense in doing something now. Let's get out of here. No one gets hurt. But others will look at it and say, we still have an opportunity to do something. On the line. Exactly. You have pride on the line, execution as you look forward and, and, and get, get ready for your next game. And a message to your team. We're not going to quit. No matter what, no matter what the battle is, we're going to finish this thing out. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Here's Carson. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL.